All right, everybody. It's been a little bit of time since I've uh, done anything video-wise. So I'm going to show you a quick video of how to take your lower molding trim off of your 73 through 77 Monte Carlo. Pretty similar process for the Chevelles, but we'll get showing some stuff up here. First off, upper front, you're going to have a clip in here, and uh, you can see where this outline is of the rust. Uh, you'll have a clip similar to that. Uh, very simple process. Reach on the inside, take the nuts off of there, and everything's good to go. So those clips are specific left to right. Here's one of the front ones for you. It's got a busted tab, so this clip isn't any good, but that is kind of what you're looking up there. Super simple. Next one, a little harder. You're going to have to end up removing your wheel well tub, probably even up to here, so you can stick your hand back here. Um, not necessarily have to take the wheel well lip off, but you will have to loosen up the top of your fender. And there's another bolt down here that you'll have to get to um, right on the firewall and uh, that'll just loosen it up. Once you're done with that, you can unbolt it here on the bottom of the fender and uh, you'll have bolts on the back side. So you can kind of open this up or stick your hand through from the back and you're gonna need to put a wrench on them and bust those bolts loose. There's four bolts on each fender piece, um, fairly simple. So doors, a little more tricky. We'll get to that in a second. This rocker molding, um, generally you're going to have a lip like this now all this stuff is junk i'm not really worried about it so you will have two screws underneath the uh, wheel well lip so you will have to take those out sometimes depending on the installer um, they would have put the same two screws in the wheel well lip as they would have in here however a lot of the times these are just put on then the wheel well lips are put on different screws were used. You might have one screw here for the wheel well lip and another one up here. It just depends. They were all self tappers back then. So didn't really matter. Um, aside from that, just take a nice little putty knife, just like your door molding over here and give it a little twist and you'll end up popping all those things off. Um, you can see these things sit on here um, with the studs. And uh, basically once you pop it off, push down on the bottom, um, you can take these little plastic clips off they sit in just like this and basically if you twist them uh, one direction in the L shape it'll release the pin and then you can push down on it um, actually it's pull up you pull up on it and then it releases the whole thing um, I have these these uh, are reproduced they're extremely expensive I, I think they're like seven dollars a piece so if they're good and they have the plastic wings on the bottom and everything is there I usually sell them for like a buck a piece so if you need door clips like that I got plenty of them. I usually take them off of these cars if they're good. Um, back quarter panel, a little different. You're gonna have little quarter inch screws like this that go up into the rocker. I already took that out. And then uh, it's super simple. These just slide straight up and uh, you'll get all the nasty gravel and crap that's been in there. Um, and then they have these metal clips. These are the same studs that are on your quarter and on your door, these metal clips just hold the lip of this right in the top that's all they do so um, you pretty much slide that on and then push it back and put your screws into your rocker so if they're super super nasty like this one not really usable you can grind these heads off uh, you can use a torch um, heat them up um, or just rip the thing off of there like I did on the quarter panel so um, inside door once you get these things twisted and uh, popped off this whole thing will come off fairly simple. Um, then we just got to get the inside door pulled down. Uh, my easiest way to get these off, there are two screws on each side of the door. There are metal plates that hold those screws. And the easiest way to get those off is use an oxyacetylene torch. So I had this torch set up. I'll see if I can show you heating up the screws. Um, the screws themselves, they are length um, requirements. If you get them too long, you're gonna end up poking through your molding on the backside, and they are a fine thread. So you have to get the correct size. That's why I usually heat them up with a torch. Um, I've already done this side, so it already came off. This one should pop out, yep. And you can see a pretty, pretty small fine thread screw. Uh, there are plastic um, washers that go on that. So if you end up using a torch or like a map torch for 
um, plumbing, um, it'll work. Obviously, you're going to damage your paint, and it's going to melt those plastic rings. So you do want to make sure that you get your plastic rings um, at least replaced on there so you're not creating too much of a problem. So let me see if I can set up my tripod. I'll show you getting that one off. It's fairly simple. Uh, basically, you just got to light the torch up. A little acetylene here. Get it down. It doesn't need to be crazy hot. We just need to give it a little bit of heat so we can get that rust to come loose. You can see on the inside there, everything is starting to melt. Just get it a little cherry red. I'll get the top one while I can see it. Um, get it cherry red, and then that's that's enough to enough to let it go. Drop it down. Oxygen first, the center in second. Fairly simple process. Um, a little torch like that, it comes in handy, especially when you're pulling these cars apart. Um, rusty bolts, stuff like that. Um, another option that you have, not in particular on this, would be induction heat. Uh, that would be a good option if you could get it um, on that bolt, but it'd be kind of hard to because it's a, it's a fine thread screw. So don't touch the screws, they are going to be hot. Aside from that, I'll show you the little bracket once we get this thing off of here. That's on the back side. Most of the time these are good. The brackets are fine. Um, the nice thing about this is you can get the screw off. Now, if you can't get it off and you are going to be replacing or repainting your door, uh, another way is just grind the head. Um, you can grind the head off. It, it won't cause as much damage to the paint um, like this. In this case, it doesn't really matter, right? But we can get that stuff off. And then we just give it a little push around, and there we go. She's all off. Same thing with these. You can just take a little screwdriver, knock them off to the side, pull straight up. They remove. Again, I keep all that stuff off the cars. And then you've got studs. These studs are on the door. They do not come on a door skin. So if you get an NOS door skin from me, you're not going to have these studs. You will have these holes, which are alignment holes, so you can put the door skin on. But uh, you will not have the skin studs, um, those you have to put on. So basically you have to fit your molding, draw a line, and put your studs on. Um, set them all out and get them kind of close to the bottom here, just like they are, and uh, everything works well. So same thing on the, the, the quarter panel there, and then your door, or your fender, is gonna be um, pretty much set in place, but you can see these holes are pretty big, so you have some space to move up and down um, so you can adjust it to fit your door so you pretty much have to fit your moldings before you do any paint work that's really the only way to get them true and straight so your fender door and your quarter panel on the back need to kind of all be fit the quarter panel behind the wheel and the one in front of the tire not necessarily a big thing so um, here's your little brackets uh, this case I don't really care, so I'm going to pry these things up, twist them out. You can media blast those, epoxy coat them. They're not going to do anything. The nice thing about getting them out this way, as opposed to, well, heck, that one just fell out. Let me grab that little guy here. So the nice thing about that is now my threads are good. So I don't have to tap and dye this. I don't have to drill it. Um, I don't have to change anything. I can literally just media blast this, and it's good to go. So... Any questions, comments, concerns, shoot me a message. Um, again, thanks for watching. I think the next video, I'll be taking that bumper off. That'll probably be my next adventure. Show you how to do all that stuff. Fairly simple. Um, these do get kind of a pain in the butt, though. So um, we'll go over that next. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you.